Hey, what's up, you guys? We have the 97 Toyota Tacoma. It's going to do the fuel pump with some gaskets and a hose today. The uh, fuel pump went out on me driving down the road. And so we're going to hope to God it's not the entire like drop unit in there. Because that one's more expensive. The fuel pump isn't too bad. So we're going to go ahead and start and make sure it's all jacked up safely. Give you some extra space. And then we're going to start with taking off this one right here. So this bolt comes down and it's the strap right here and then depending on how much gas you have, which I have a lot, you need to drop it down slowly and pretty much you're going to be wanting to get into this casing right there. And that's going to be the housing that you're trying to get into. We're going to see if we need to like pull it all the way out or what we can do with it. But so far we're going to just get a drop down and see if we can't work on it through the side. So. Let's go ahead and start by disconnecting maybe these fuel lines here and we'll get these three lines that are going up to the fuel tank off. So we'll do this one, that one, and that one. And then possibly unplug the harness as well. And then once we get that all unplugged, then we can go from there. But Let's go ahead and get started with that, and then we'll move on. So we have our crescent you want to use on fuel fittings or anything like that because they really grip onto these shitty bolts, or it's like a lot of them are like aluminum or just very shitty, so they break apart. And a big pain in the ass, so we're gonna go ahead and use one of these fittings that we have here. Make that to go on once it's on. You're gonna want to protect your eyes, make sure you have some eye protective wear or something on. If you need to spray it with some loosener, you do that. But we're basically going to. that and then that's going to require us to hold this end so same we're going to hold it with the same style wrench all right wrench let's go ahead and try to break it free As you can see, we might need to spray it down a little bit. All right, with some spray, we got it broke free, which we're now just going to take this off. Let's get this not broke free enough. Do be careful because when this comes off, there is fuel that goes everywhere. And then when we're putting it back on, don't cross thread. These things are stupid easy to cross thread. And since we are messing with fuel, do be careful with everything that you do. going to take <clears throat> our fingers and these should be pretty pliable. I 
those clamps. And then you can always get pliers and help twist these things a little bit because you want these to get unstuck. So that's what we're gonna do now. Just carefully and get these unstuck because they get kind of molded to the metal. All our main hoses are off, and next is just the electrical. So we're just gonna unplug that. And you can take the hoses off of the filler arm and the breather tube, or you can just take off the front cover and let it dangle so when it drops down we can just let it smoothly drop down with the tank that way I don't have to take off anything extra and mess with any fittings or hoses that don't need to be messed with so with that off all that leaves is our connector and that one's at a weird angle to get at so we're going to head, go ahead and drop the tank I got this connector kind of removed if we need to pull off any of these little tabs that go into anything we can but for the most part we should be able to get it dropped down nicely at a better angle we can get to this so let's go ahead and get this all dropped out so now we have our jack supporting our gas tank underneath just because I know I have quite a bit of gas in there I was unable to get out and now we're going to go ahead and hit that bolt, get that bolt off. Once we loosen that bolt, it starts to drop. This will be loosened, I think, enough because I don't think there's another strap. We'll find out. Let's go ahead and take this bolt off and see how steady we can get this to drop down. Almost forgot these three bolts right here will need to come off to be able to get this to move around and it also holds on the heat shield so that was off so now this will be able to move around so as we lower it this whole thing will come down so let's start lowering it and let's be very careful as we do it because I don't want this thing to tip I don't want this thing to fall over and start leaking gas everywhere I don't want it to cause damage to where this gets punctured so we're gonna do it very slowly and try to keep it as balanced as possible so let's go ahead and get started. And we're gonna try and do it like this so you guys can see the process of it. So let me get around to the other side.
something it wants to fall backwards so let's okay, I'm drop it again a little slower as you can see it still wants to fall backwards so we're just gonna hold it up like this and just slowly let the jack, the jack drop down. Seems like it's caught, so let's stop it. Pretty sure it's gonna be our filler arm, so. Like this is good so far. And we are flat. And with that, we have removed it. Our filler arm is the only thing that's keeping it up and up out of the way which I've got this loosened up right here so this should be pulling out just right now so now that's off fuel is free and open so we want to be careful now and now we have this space to work with I'm able to get inside of here and things not be too big of a burden. But let's go ahead and make sure our tubes aren't bent. And so now up here is gonna be where we're getting at. We have all this space to work with. We can pull it out if we want. Um, I'll probably be dragging this out. Be mindful with this off. There's an opening, so we're going to have to throw some cloth in there to plug it up. Make sure nothing falls in our gas tank. gets dirty. And then this, I'm going to go ahead and you know, pull this out. Probably get started, so let's see if we're able to get this out from underneath the vehicle, and then we'll go from there. So here we have everything set up. A good way to check uh, your, what is it? Pretty much the carriage that your pump goes into. It's gonna have your filler sensor and everything on it. Pretty much that, what that is. There's this guy right here. You plug right into here with your multimeter and you can test these two leads on the top for resistance and stuff like that by setting it to 200 on the ohms reader and then you should be getting I think it's like around 200 or so ohms when it's um, the lever is full so when the gas tank is full and when it's empty it should be reading around three so that's a good way to see if your sender and everything like that is working and performing the way it should anything out of rating just keep an eye on that kind of stuff so now with that uh, we can go ahead and get these bolts removed and do remember that we are messing with gasoline uh, if you guys get gasoline on you and do go wash your hands go wash it off do not leave it all over your skin for long periods of time uh, the second you can go wash it off I'm gonna get a bunch of towels ready I'm going to set up a spot either 
on the back of a truck or somewhere like that that's going to be comfortable for me to work with this thing that's not going to get dirt everywhere inside of it so and gasoline everywhere where it's unsafe so let's go ahead and get this all brushed off and get this area cleaned up i'm going to get something sprayed off around here get a rag and clean it up all the dirt and everything because we don't want dirt in here at all once we get this whole area cleaned up we'll start removing these bolts and get inside of here we're going to be very careful with the gasket because i don't have an extra gasket and i know that isn't a crucial part a crucial part that we'll need to replace but it's hard to find them standalone without special order so we are going to do our best to not mess with it and if we have to replace it it will have to be later so let's go ahead and get this all cleaned up i'll come back to the video as we're taking this all off and then we'll get this video set up again for the sender as we start to take the pump out of it and everything and the pump is very small so if you guys go out and buy this fucking pump for this thing it is very small so let's get to the part where it, we need to start being very careful with how we handle things with sparks and everything because gasoline will ignite and it will travel over the fumes so let's avoid any accidents so we got all these screws loose here and everything's cleaned off around it so we're gonna take care of these and make sure we don't lose them and then this whole unit should pull right out and I have a spot set up where we're gonna take it to and get everything set so looks like it's all coming apart at it easily and let's go ahead and pull it out here it is the filter if you need to change it the pump the new tube we got right here as well this all comes apart and I believe we got a new gasket for down here as well so this should be I think fitted so we're gonna go ahead and pry this out and let's go ahead and get this set up and get going I always recommend if you're gonna buy it, buy it with all the new pieces for it. And always remember where the pieces go when you're done. All right. <clears throat> this Biome's new one is at like 0 0.5, 0 0.05, and this one is at 30.5. So I'm assuming the ohms aren't reading right. So. We're gonna take this old filter off, use it. We've got the new inlet hose like this, which basically is gonna go right up here to the top. This gets pushed in. I want it to go all the way down. No issues. And then this one. Just set it like that. Right. 
that's all set up. Let's go ahead and switch you right here. A little bit more. We don't want it to be too close. And that should be set. Next, we're going to put this one up top here. Get it ready, but let's keep it off because these come with a little clamp thing. That's pretty dope. Next, things that we're going to replace that it comes with. So we got the stoppers. I've got this one. I've got these things here. I've got this for the mill ring. So I won't see a new one of these, unfortunately. So we're gonna go ahead and reuse this one right here. So let's go ahead and get this all set up and ready. I went ahead and just bought a new filter. The other one looked a little dirty, so this one we're gonna pick up, put on, let's get a little retainer clip right here. It's gonna go on with the groove sided facing upwards. And it's gonna go right over that guy. It's gonna need two hands. So I'm just gonna go with that, throw that on real quick with the um branch all right so this gets pushed down fairly easily now I went ahead and cleaned up wherever I put it now half of what I do is put something down and lose it <clears throat> there we go. this guy is gonna go down like this so when he gets pushed back in I'll be like so, but for this, we're going to go ahead and get this side pushed in. Seal us in there. Like so, as we're doing this, we're making sure we're careful with everything. And he's just gonna get popped. And if you had put that on, so don't do what I did. Make sure you put this all on first before you actually slide this on because now. I'm gonna start over, so let's go ahead and fix this off camera. All right, <laughs> fixed it. Mistake averted. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. Got this right here. That is in. Everything is put back together on here. Double check everything, make sure everything is nice and snug. Now, we should all be set. I'm gonna check my ohms, see how it kind of reading. I'm good on this. Same rigging still. So we're still good on the pump, should be working fine. Um, with that all together, we're gonna give this one good wipe down before I stick it back inside the tank. And we will be testing it out as well. So let's go ahead, get these pieces put back in. 
and let's see where we land as far as the vehicle starting now. So let's get it wiped off and we'll place it back inside the tank, get everything set back up. All right, with this back inside, um, these weren't that tight when we started. So we're going to go ahead and just make these hand tight. And we're going to do these in the same fashion that we would with anything. Which is, we're going to go across from each other. So let's go ahead and just make this all hand tight. All right, going crisscross. should be set now my breather tube here is all cracked if you're getting gas flow stopping as you're trying to fill up and the thing keeps kicking off and things like that it's usually your breather tube so I'm just gonna go ahead and just throw a nice little vacuum line on there I'm sorry not a vacuum line I mean a fuel line so we're gonna go ahead and get this replaced with a nice new line and then once that's off, we'll get this place back up on the jack with our wood block. And from there, we'll very gently and slowly get this thing put back up so we don't cause any holes, damages, or anything like that that's going to further make this a pain. So let's get this together. All right, so this is almost set back up. <coughs> We're going to finish this together now. Then just watch it. Be careful. Don't break anything. be almost six. Oh. oh yeah. Alright, so go ahead and try to maneuver this down a little bit. Looks like we're almost set. And then we'll just jack it up, I think, a few more times. But we should be able to get one side right here started, I think. Unless we're still too much at an angle. Too much at an angle still, so we're gonna go ahead and jack it up some more and see where that puts us. Should be set a little better. Now let's go ahead and put this first bolt on. Alright. 
Chris Cole should be set right there. Let's get this off like so. Started. I want to make sure that you pull the start up by hands before you actually put them down. And with that, we are going to try and tighten them. So we went ahead and put our strap on. You're gonna to want to make sure that it's fully pushed up before you try to get it pulled over. Once you do, put the bolts on this side, refasten down the bolts up front, and then if you took off your filler neck, make sure you're putting it back on and doing anything like that. And we'll be getting this put back together. And then you get your hoses put back on and. When you're doing the flare nuts, make sure that they aren't being stripped out because they strip out very easily and cross thread and stuff like that. So make sure that you're able to hand tighten them most of the way. If you aren't able to hand tighten them, stop and start over again until you're able to hand tighten them. Because if you cross thread, you're looking at a bigger pain in the ass because then you have to replace that metal line and everything. And it's just a big pain in the ass. So make sure you don't do that get this all back together then start her up and she be she should be running thank you guys for watching and subscribe for more videos